as a pen turner, um, I quite often get requests for pairs, and the the two uh, the two alternatives that we used to make as, as pen turners is the roller ball and the fountain pen. So this being the roller ball and this being the fountain pen. Now the roller ball fountain pen combination has its advantages and disadvantages. It is a very nice looking pair, but a lot of people don't like the, the, the fountain pen um, because it dries out, you know, um, it leaks, etc, etc. So the other alternative used to be the ballpoint pen and the pencil um, and the problem with the ballpoint pen and the pencil uh, is that with the pencil kits, um, they used to have a this twist-style um, Chinese-made mechanism, and that mechanism would fail quite often. Now, what happens is you buy a five-dollar kit, which is what this pencil used to cost. Um, you would spend half an hour making it and then on sell it for say thirty to fifty dollars. The problem is, once someone spends thirty to fifty dollars on a pencil, they expect it to last a lifetime. Even more so if they buy a pair for say eighty to one hundred dollars. Anyone spending that much money on a pen expects the pen to last forever, and the pencil. <clears throat> they buy the pencil, they bring it home, they drop it on the table, they drop it on the floor a few times, and eventually, because the mechanism has got quite a few working parts in it. It becomes it is quite delicate and then it fails and then the the customer then comes back to you and says hey man you know my pencil's not working please fix it and then it drives you crazy so what I've come up with is I've been thinking about this problem for a while and in the past the kit used to be designed around the mechanism um, four generations later so this is generation five um, this or prototype five that I've w that I've been thinking about, we we now start off with a Parker style um, refill or Parker style mechanism. So again, this is a a pen kit, and what we do is basically all all we do is we buy this. I sell these for a dollar fifty if you buy one at a time, or a dollar if you buy fifty at a time. You take out the mechanism and the refill and the spring, all right? Then the pencil mechanism goes straight in as you can see the nib sits proud of the the nib end and that's the completed pen so that's the only conversion we do we, we take out the refill and the spring and we put the pencil mechanism in now the pen won't once you've extended it won't spring back so you have to bring it back to to neutral or the closed position um, that propels it forward and to retract the the pencil the 0.7 mil pencil uh, lead you just bring it to the to the click and then push it down and then back to center so that's all you do there is not you know for this particular kit the cigar kits that we sell you don't have to do anything um, and again the you take out the mechanism put the refill back in And it's a pen again. Now that's a one thing that you can do as a as a pen seller. Just have both options available. So sell it to them with the actual pencil mechanism and the pen refill, so that they can use the alternatives if they want. And if you want, you can make a pair, one as a Parker style refill pen and a 0.7 mil uh, pacer. Now this is the Sierras that we sell with the the Sierras and the and the stylus tip, um, our standards here is are the same. All you do is take the refill out and the Parker style clutch pencil. It is a bit tight there, see how it, it won't fall out? So all we do is we then screw it on, put that back on and it'll click. Again, engage it and that's how you retract it. Now. Different manufacturers have different specs in their internal mechanisms or internal uh, dimensions. Uh, this refill that we sell will fit our, C our Sierras, our Stylus uh, Sierras and our um, cigar pens. Now, with our bullet pens, uh, it does not, I believe it does not work. So I'll just wind out the mechanism 
and the refill. Now this side fits in fine but it's this side. Uh, there doesn't seem to be enough clearance to push the mechanism over. So what I'll need to do is get a, pit, uh, a chisel or a bit of sandpaper and just take that lip off. And once it slides in then the mechanism should work the same way. Now with our Polaris's it's the same, uh, we have a similar issue. Now it fits in the, so that's the refill and the spring. Now it fits in on the back but the nib side, the diameters on the inside of the nib won't let the refill pass through. So there's a, a bit of a step there and then the conversion that you'll need to do is just grab a, a, a drill bit, work out what diameter you, you need and then just drill in so that the nib comes proud and then you should be able to use this, the, the Polaris as well for the same um, mechanism. Now the, the beauty about these mechanisms is that they're cheap. You can, you can sell them um, you can sell the pen and the pencil as a you know as an alternative and it only cost you a dollar more if you buy 50 at a time whoops so hopefully uh, these will be the next hit and you'll be able to uh, bring your pen turning to the next level